This is Ty Lee reporting live from the red carpet at the 46th annual NAACP Image Awards. Hi, Demetri. How are you doing tonight? Great. How are you? Doing fantastic. So we're here at the NAACP Image Awards. What are you expecting to see tonight? Great fashion. Expressive, expressive fashion. Um, I love seeing how we find our way to find our fly. Like she's got this sequin thing going on. I got my blue. You got people with purple and green hair. Like it's just great to see everybody live their life. Awesome. Yeah. If, um, nominations. Are you expecting to see anyone win in particular? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Like there's so many great nominations. I'm just, I'm just really excited to be here to get to cheer for everybody and not be disappointed either way it goes. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. My next question for you on the topic of Atlanta Housewives. How do you like being on the show thus far? I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. Um, it, it's, it's a mixture of emotions. You know, it's great to be a part of a platform that's so big and it's done great for my music. But when they come for you, honey, they come for you. So I'm learning how to navigate it pretty well, and I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty stable now. Great. So how is your CD and everything going, music-wise? Yo, everybody did so wonderfully with supporting me in Puerto Rico. When I did that performance of 100, it shot to number four on iTunes, like literally in 24, 48 hours, and number 118 in the country. So you know, it's just, it's been great. Uh, my new single, Trade It All, is out right now. The video will be out next week. Be on the lookout, and the officially yours. EP will be out this quarter. On the uh, off topic of music, is there anything else you have up in the works? Well, it's funny, you should ask me. Um, House of Pain is still in syndication. The Ricky Smiley Show is in talks to come back. I just shot another pilot called Mark's Place. Carl Payne, uh, Tony Rock, Lamont Rucker, Essence Adkins, Vivica Fox, myself, like amazing script. I've got two movies coming out this year. Um, one is called Let the Church Say Amen. It's for Kena, Regina King's directorial debut. It's got um, a bunch of great actors in that. Um, Josea Sanchez, Notori Naughton, Leela Rashawn. And then the second one is Sons to the Grave, directed by Michael T. Williamson. Myself, Darren Henson, and Atlantic recording artist Trevor Jackson. So yes. I'm working. How are you doing tonight? How does it feel to be nominated for Selma? Uh, it feels uh, like one of the best honors ever. You know, it's, uh, uh, I'm here because of so many nameless and faceless people who gave their, their lives. So, um, you know, and the, and the struggle to get equal rights and, uh, and, and the right to vote. And uh, I'm honored to be here because of them. How trying was it to portray the character that you did in some? Oh, it wasn't trying. It was, um, I felt a great responsibility and obligation to get it, to get it right, to tell their stories. The one thing I remember most is being on Edmund Pettus Bridge and feeling, feeling those souls say, tell our story and make sure you tell it right. Don't let them forget us. You know, all those souls at the bottom of that Alabama River who gave the ultimate price so that we could exercise our rights as Americans. And uh, that, that's, uh, that was... How does it feel to be nominated for your show, Blackish? I mean, it feels amazing uh, to be nominated. I'm super proud to be honored by an organization like the NAACP. I mean, that's just mind-blowing. Uh, yeah, it, and they've honored so many amazing people in the past. It's really cool to be here today. <laughs> Now, is there any words you would like to tell your competitors by chance? Um, I'd like to say, uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, you deserve the award. Um, I'm really happy for you, man. And um, Yara Shahidi, awesome win. And uh, yeah, that's what I'd like to say. Anthony Anderson, Ty Lee here with NewsForUsOnline.com. At the NAACP luncheon, you seem somewhat negative that you weren't sure you were going to get the win. So how do you feel now that you have the award? as a whole and individual. I almost feel vindicated. <laughs> almost. It took me 10, 10 nominations. Not 10 years, 10 nominations over the course of 20 years. Now, I, I'm happy and humbled with this, but you know, more importantly, uh, you know, Yara Shahidi, she won her individual award Woo! yesterday. Of course, Tracy Ellis Ross won her award. Lawrence Fishburne won his, we won ours as a cast. That's what I'm most important, and that's what I'm most excited about and happy about, that we won this together as a family. Because that's that's what we are, and that's what we do, and that's what we put forth. So me winning an individual award, it's cool, but I'm glad to be up here with these people that I call my family.